this video, I will explain how to set up and get motion from IAI's LE cylinder. The LE cylinder from IAI is a simple, cost-effective solution designed to replace pneumatic actuators. It comes with a built-in controller, is offered in both rod and rodless styles, and is intended to have two positions. However, one of our senior application engineers has discovered a solution that allows the EC to achieve more than two positions using serial. The link to that will be at the end of this video. First, connect the communication cable from your USB or Ethernet port to the built-in controller on the back side of the LE cylinder. Next, plug the connector end of the power and I.O. cable into the LE cylinder, then connect the black and red wires to a power supply. Additional I.O. is provided and can be used to send and receive signals from the built-in controller. To begin motion, first, boot up the LE cylinder software. It will automatically detect the number of axes connected and assign them a number, starting at zero. Shown here are the different operation modes. We'll use Teach 2, which bypasses the safety speed limitation, but prohibits the I.O. from sending and receiving signals. Next, click the drop-down menu under Axes number 0 and click on Position Data. We'll first edit the operation condition titled Base End to Far End, shown here in the green box, where we can easily change the parameters of the actuator. Right now, we have it set as a percentage of the max parameter but we can click on unit change in the top center of the screen to change it to a linear value such as millimeters per second. Notice that the software automatically calculates our cycle time. We can also check the box here to indicate that this is a push move. The operation condition far end to base end is shown here in a blue box where we can set different parameters for the return to base move. Down at the bottom of the screen, we'll set the two positions for the actuator. In this sample, we set the base end position to four millimeters and the far end position to 150 millimeters. Afterwards, click transfer to send the information to the built-in controller. Click yes to confirm. Next, click the homing button to home the actuator to its zero position. Now we can click the buttons F end and B end to tell the actuator which position to go to. 